hospital on the roof. It was incredible. It was awesome, wasn't it? Oh yeah. So good. Um, and so we like we're gonna go back to our hotel, but then we decided to stop and see some more light stuff because this is a good night for us to stay out a little later. So we're just getting some of the festive uh, lights in. This scarf is not flattering. What? Yeah, I'll turn it on so you can see. Look how gorgeous this is. There's Radio City Music Hall. You can kind of get a scope. Is that not so pretty? It is so pretty. So we're gonna do a little more walking and see um, some more pretty displays. So we're gonna see some festive things. Okie doke. There's the Rockefeller tree. All lit up, kind of hard to see because they have it kind of blocked off, but we're gonna go over here and see if we can look at some of the ice skaters. Looks really crowded though, it looks really crowded. You can see everyone. Watching the skaters. See if we can get on this way. You wanna go to a storm shop? Uh oh, there's Olaf, okay. See if we can go down this way. It's really where's the best place to stand, do you think? Over here? Okay, there's the tree and the lights on the other trees.
Okay, so we wanted to come by Lord and Taylor because every time we drove by, we saw this gorgeous light overhang. So we decided to come by and walk through it. Here we go. Look how pretty. This is why I I can now fully endorse coming to New York at Christmas time. We were just saying that it's this kind of thing that sets it apart at Christmas, you know? So Okay, we're gonna take a picture. <laughs> and look at their windows but Kurt pointed out and I was dumb and never knew this that it's Miracle on 34th Street because Macy's on 34th Street everyone probably knew that except for me but there it is
guys so i'm just checking in we're back at the hotel um you can kind of see we had a full evening and i think i mean i definitely showed you clips of us out and about but i can't remember kind of where i left off but we uh, went to fiddler on the roof and it was absolutely beautiful it was a very it was a very different production than i had seen in the past it was um like kind of pared down sets a little bit and there was kind of a like modern tie-in if you could call it that um i remember when it first um uh, this what would we call it revival <laughs> when this revival of uh, Fiddler on the Roof premiered, I remember there being talk of kind of a unique opening to it, and I could never figure out, like, find anything online or anything about what it was, but in essence, and I guess this is what they were referring to, those who were talking about it, but in essence, uh, Tevya, the main character, came out at the very beginning in kind of a modern uh, coat like he you know he obviously had his costume on underneath but he was wearing just like a north face jacket and they had it like he was reading out of a book about the history of Anatevka and so it was kind of neat because it was like he was remembering you know he was learning from this story that he was reading about these people then he like jumped in and was you know the character in the story but then at the very end, they ended it with him back in the, like, the North Face jacket, and he was like finishing reading this book. And I don't know if that makes sense, but it was kind of like reminding you that this is a story that kind of ties in to all, you know, generations, and there's something to learn from this story. I don't know, it was really, really neat. And the acting was so good. And... Um, I am majorly into watching Broadway.com, like the YouTube channel Broadway.com, because I'm just nerdy like that. But um, one of my favorite things that they do is they have a like of any Broadway show that's up, you know, or that's running right now. They have a member of the cast do like a backstage vlog behind the scenes. So I've watched a lot about a lot of different Broadway shows that way, you know, just behind the scenes and for Fiddler the vlogger was um, I think his name is Adam Cantor I think that's his name I hope that's right and he plays model the tailor and so I got to I felt like I knew him you know and when he was performing it was incredible to watch him perform in person but watching you know because I watched the vlogs he had explained some of the, the small little details of his performance um, with Alexandra Silber, who plays Zydel. And so together, like, watching them on the stage in person together was awesome because they had so many little details in their performances as this, you know, couple in love. And it was just so sweet. And I, I pointed some of that out to Kurt, and it was little things that you would never have noticed unless, you, you know, you'd watch the vlogs and see or seen him explain it. So that was really cool. I hope all that makes sense but all that to say it was a beautiful production and so we were about to head back to our hotel after it was over and I just spur the moment we we're like let's just go like walk around some more you know like we're here in New York City and you know you just you don't want to I don't know just immediately go back to your hotel sometimes and so we walked around we basically walked the entire length we went to Rockefeller you, you saw that we, we went to Rockefeller Plaza saw the tree um, and then we walked all the way down Fifth Avenue pretty much and stopped at some of the department stores we didn't get to yesterday because of the rain. And actually those all ended up being the best windows that we saw. And no crowds because it was so late at night and so that was really nice. It was, it, it got cold. I'm like kind of, I'm under the covers because I'm cold. <laughs> but it was, it was so much fun. I think that tonight will probably be a really big memory for us just walking around hearing the Christmas music seeing the Christmas lights and um, you know we were talking a little bit about you know like what you know makes you know each kind of you know, big city that you visit what makes it unique and I would say that really I think this is the time to to visit New York City I think the holidays just make it extra special and uh, it, you know, I enjoy New York City. It, it's it's frankly not my favorite city, and it never has been. Um, 
but coming here with my husband number one and number two around the holidays really just changed it for me and it's it's really special and sweet and to come here with someone you love first of all and um and and just to be here in a really festive time and I you know seeing all the lights and there's just I think that New York City at Christmas is kind of like always been legend sort of and you hear people talk about it but it's really really special and beautiful and so I'm really glad that we came around this time and I think it's been perfect because it was kind of end of November the one snag that we've hit is the tree lighting was last night and that was just absolute chaos so i hope this light I, as i've been talking for like 30 minutes i hope this is okay this lighting's is okay um but anyway tomorrow we are going to is our last day and we don't get started until noon we we don't have lunch until noon so we were debating you know do we sleep in do we get up and get going and do something and i really think we're just gonna lay low and and probably work on maybe getting packed up a little bit um and then we're going to go down into the kind of, it's called like the Bowery kind of area. And we're going to eat at Gray Lady, a seafood restaurant. And then right near there is the Tenement Museum. And I had wanted to visit this for a while. My last trip, we didn't make it there, but I am really excited to see it. I've heard it's really, really good. It's one of the top things that people recommend that you do, even though I also feel like it's obscure at the same, not obscure, but it's, it's obviously not one of the bigger tourist attractions in New York City, but for people that are really interested in history and, you know, I guess learning different perspectives of, of people's life experiences, I think it's, you know, it, I've heard some must do. So we're going to go do the Tenement Museum at 1.30 after we eat, and we scheduled a tour with a, with a guide there. So we'll do that from like 1 30 to 3 and then I think we are I don't know what we'll do I, we may we'll probably just come back to the hotel I don't know I don't know we'll see but I, I told Kurt I'm I'm constantly in this tug of war between like we're in New York City we need to be doing stuff and but also just enjoying not having to like, you know like not having to do stuff so I don't know it's kind of for me it's got kind of a constant tug of war because I I want to maximize my time in the city but I also want to enjoy some relaxation you know with Kurt and so uh, we'll see how tomorrow kind of pans out but then tomorrow night we're eating at Tavern on the Green because it's just an icon and I've always just wanted that experience and that'll give us an opportunity also to see Central Park a little bit so it'll, it'll be dark you know by the time we get there but we'll see so and our final thing is we're going to see Hamilton and we got tickets to that they released a block of tickets in June right after the Tony Awards and uh, that's what spurred this whole trip on is on you know when they I saw I got an email they released these tickets and I told Kurt I said can we go? I know you're on, I know you're on vacation that week. Can we go? And it's literally what, you know, spurred this entire trip. So, um, we are going to go see Hamilton and I'm so excited to see it with Kurt because we both love this musical for different reasons, but then those different reasons have kind of merged in, into us having a shared, you know, interest in Hamilton and, you know, Kurt is a huge history buff, huge. And he read Ron, I'm going to have him say the name because I can never say that his last name correctly, but the biography, the same biography that Lin-Manuel Miranda read about Alexander Hamilton's life. And Kurt was just fascinated by the man. And this was before it was cool to like Hamilton. I think I said that another day, but he loved Hamilton. And so once I discovered the soundtrack, that was, a, it was around June. It was around, all around the same time. Around this, and so I started listening to it, fell in love with it. And I told Kurt, I said, this musical is really amazing. Like it's something different and special. And, and so we listened to it a couple of times together. And so when the tickets were released, we just jumped on them. So 
you know, he brings, Kurt brings a more, you know, he has the intellectual, like, experience of learning about Hamilton through this reading. I love and appreciate it from an art standpoint, you know, and a performance standpoint, and how this has brought history and art together. And it's fascinating, and I love it. I just love it. So we're going to set that capping off our trip tomorrow night and so it's gonna be amazing I just know it's gonna be amazing so anyway I'm gonna go get ready for bed and we'll check in tomorrow this was like, like a super long end of the video but it kind of gives you con you know just an idea of what we're doing tomorrow and it was a great day and we're just enjoying being together so we will check in tomorrow bye guys